Hello, and welcome to this fifth video in using Blender for video editing. In this session, we're actually going to do editing. We're going to take this video strip that I have uh, already in Blender. I had to already get this set up because I want to get everything covered within the five minutes. We're going to take this strip. We're going to cut out three two-second uh, bits out of it and rearrange them, and we're going to delete the rest. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with this. We're going to keep this first two seconds. I'm going to move the time cursor, this green line, to about the two second mark. I go to strip and cut soft at frame. The keyboard shortcut is K, but I'm just going to use the mouse for now. Unlike deleting, it already applied the action. There's no confirmation. You can tell now we have two strips out of the original one because they both have uh, these labels, these descriptive labels, and these arrows on the the uh, beginning and end points. Well, this one is a lot smaller because it's a shorter clip. And also if I, you can actually, I can right click to select each of them separately and you'll notice that the length, the final length here shows a different time. 28 seconds roughly for this longer one and two seconds for the shorter one. So now I'm going to go over to about the 16 second mark and again go to strip and cut soft at frame. Actually, no wait. Before I do that, I have to make sure I have this frame select, this strip selected, or else nothing's going to happen. So I'm going to right click to select that, and now I go to cut soft at frame. Okay, there we go. Now we have our next cut. Uh, again, I'm going to go about two seconds in, select this strip, and go to cut soft at frame. There we go. Now we have that. We have that two seconds there. And finally, I'm going to go here, I'm going to click, left click over here at the 28 second mark, and this time I'm going to press K, the keyboard shortcut for the soft cut. And now we have our three two second strips, but we also have these other longer strips in the middle, and we're going to delete those again from last time. The way to do that, you select the strip, and you go to the strip menu, and erase the strips and confirm that. Or the alternative is to select it and just press the X key and you can press enter to confirm and those things are gone. So we're left with just the three two second clips. To move them, to rearrange them in the sequencer, is very easy. You just hold down roughly in, in the middle of the strip with the right mouse button and then start moving your mouse. After that you can let go of the mouse button and, um, and as soon as you uh, left click on then it'll drop it in that position so let's say I wanted to move that this all the way over here because I want these two side by side now you can notice okay I just left click but now I'll, I'll uh, pick it up again with the by holding down on right click on the right mouse button you notice that as soon as I start doing that these numbers in white appear on all the strips uh, so in the first strip it shows 1 and 49 and what that's telling us is that that first strip starts at frame 1 and ends at frame 49. So if we want to have no gaps between um, these two strips so that the final video when we create it, when we render it out, will have no black at all, we have to make sure that this clip, this strip we're trying to move is positioned so that it shows the next number, 50. So I let go, I, no, I didn't let go, I pressed the left mouse button, and now we have them side by side. If I scrub, I can see that there is no black, so that worked well. But there's an easier way. So let's move this last one. I'll, I'll uh, hold down on the right mouse button and just move. And instead of trying to be careful about it, I'll just overlap it. And as soon as I do that, you'll see that there's a red border that, that uh, appears around this clip, this strip that I'm moving. And when I press my left mouse button, Blender will automatically move it into position such that it is exactly side by side to whatever strip that I had that I had um, stuck it on top of. So that's it right there. Very simple. Um, so we just went through how to cut a strip, um, delete bit, other bits we didn't want, and then rearrange them the the pieces we do want. Uh, in this uh, in the sequencer and it's as simple as that the one thing I haven't mentioned is how to what the keyboard shortcut is and that is the letter G so if I press G now it'll start 
move and it'll so pick up and it'll grab the selected strip and I can move it around as I please. So move that and bring that back over. And there you have it. So that's it. We we've actually gotten to the point now where you can go ahead and start editing uh, your videos. Uh, in next session, we'll talk about how to how to export them, how to render them out to have a final product. Okay. So until then, thanks. Bye for now.